Hey y'all, it's Joseph Lippert, and I want to share with you how to get started in VEX. If you're looking to become a new team, what do you do to get started? What do you need to know? Let me show you. VEX Robotics Competition is a competitive robotics program where teams build robots to compete against each other at competitions. These robotics competitions are pretty much like robots playing a sport but with robots. So these robots are playing against each other, trying to score as many points as they can against the other alliance, and then whoever scores the most points wins the match. The key here, though, is this challenge changes every single year. And every year there's new rules and a new, completely new game that you have to play with your robot. So to find the details for this rules and these games and all that stuff, you're going to go ahead and go over to the game manual on Vex's website. The game manual has all of the rules that you need to know to play the game. And there's a video on the page with the game manual on it that will tell you all of the just an overall high level detail explanation of the game this year. Um, and if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see that there's a button for the game manual. If we click that, it'll take us to the PDF with all of the rules that are for this year's game. Now, if some of these rules are a little bit ambiguous, there's this cool thing called a Q&A system. Basically, this Q&A system is a place for teams to ask questions. You just go here under in Robot Events under Q&A. You go to the Q&A tab, and this will tell you all the Q&A questions that teams have asked, and the GDC, the people who designed the game, they've answered these questions, and it'll give you some more clarification on some rules of the game. You can see there's 13 pages of questions here. So the first thing to do when you want to become a team is you need to register your team on Robot Events. This makes your team official and lets you sign up for competitions. So you're going to go ahead and go to robotevents.com and then you're going to go ahead and make an account. And once you make an account, there will be a button there for you to create a team. Um, once you create a team, you can go into your VEX competition and then you'll see a whole bunch of buttons here that can give you more information. Robot Events is like your event go-to page. If you have any questions about events, this is the page that you'll want to look at. Every year, the new game is released at the VEX Robotics World Championship. This championship is where the best of the best teams compete to see who will win the World Championship title. And that game gets revealed every year around like May. And that's when teams start building the robots. And the first competitions, though, don't start for quite a few months after that, not until November, December are the earliest competitions, but the competitions go all the way to, like, February. Now, if you're wondering, wow, this sounds cool, but what do I need to get to make a robot for my team? I've included a parts list in the description below. Go ahead and click that link in the description, and it'll give you all the details you need to know on parts and pieces and tools that you need to start a team. Now, you can have a team with just one person, but it's a lot easier and a lot more fun to have it with multiple people, so getting a few friends that you want to do robotics with and make this team with is going to be a lot of fun. If you can, you're going to want to make sure that you have a field to practice on. The You can buy the field from Vex's website. It's a exact copy of what you'll see at the competitions on the playing field, so you can practice and practice and make sure that you are ready when the competitions happen. Now the best place to look for some initial designs is going to be looking on YouTube for those designs that other teams have come up with and take inspiration from those, maybe a few different things you like from a few different robots, and then make your own robot based on what you like from each of those. Now your first robot will not be your best robot. The first robot, the key of your first robot is to build your first robot. Once you feel, build your first robot, then you can build your second robot and your third robot, and one of your future robots will be your best robot. And that's the whole point here is if you build more robots that is how you get better at building robots studying robots looking for inspiration that's all great but the ultimate b way you get better at building robots is by building more and more robots and figuring out what works what doesn't work what you need to improve what needs to be changed so don't forget to click that link in the description with all the details in it for the parts you need to start a new team and i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video